Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Gallagher, the uh, Homicide Unit Commander. I'm here today to uh, discuss the recent murder of Jonathan Brenton, a 48-year-old white male. Uh, he was killed Wednesday, uh, shot and killed in the front door of his house. Um, we've made some progress in it. I'd like to update you on the case and the arrests that we've made, um, but I'd like to also remind you that it's an active investigation and the, there are some details I won't be able to get into at this time, um, but I'll try to answer as much as I can for you. Uh, Wednesday morning at about 2.45 in the morning, uh, the police were called to a 911 call of a shooting in the 11,700 block of V.C. Johnson Road. Um, when they arrived, they found Mr. Brenton shot to death right inside the front door of his residence. Um, inside the house also was his wife and his daughter. Um, as homicide detectives arrived and started their investigation, it was quickly learned that Mr. Brenton was to testify in a trial later that day on Wednesday. Um, that trial was actually in regards to a burglary that occurred at the Brenton's residence exactly two years to the day, uh, September 21st, 2014. Um, looking into that case, obviously there were some suspects that were arrested. One of them, Jacorian McRae, a 23-year-old black male, and his brother, uh, Dakari Maxwell. Uh, he's a black male, 17 years old. Um, Jacorian McRae is currently locked up in the the pretrial detention facility, um, and so detectives started investigating him and, and looking into his uh, visitations and, and jail calls that he's made. Um, listening to those recorded jail calls, we learned that he actually had become very concerned about being convicted and sent to prison for 15 to 30 years in his mind, um, and he started calling his brother, Dakari, and his girlfriend, uh, Tierney Shelton a 21-year-old black female. Um, in those conversations, he it became more and more, or it became more and more evident that he was uh, worried that he was going to prison for quite a while because of this uh, impending conviction. Um, and he convinced them that they needed to convince the Brentons to either change their story or not testify. Um, as this month went by, um, when Monday came around and he was two days before trial, he was more anxious. He uh, convinced Tierney to go to the Brenton's residence. She went there on Tuesday around 5 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, made contact with Mrs. Brenton and tried to bribe her to convince him not to testify or to change her story. Mrs. Brenton said that that couldn't happen, that they've already gone on record for what happened. Um, then Tierney left. Um, Following that conversation, that encounter, uh, McRae called his brother Dakari, and that's when he learned that, that the bribery didn't work, and he told Dakari that you know, he needed to kill them. So he, step, he walked Dakari step by step through the process of what he needed to do to kill him. Um, of course, 2.45 in the morning, the murder occurred just like he was instructed to do. Um, We've located uh, that same day on the 21st, uh, Tierney Shelton, and interviewed her. She admitted to attempting to bribe the Brenton so they wouldn't testify or they would change their story. She's been arrested for tampering with a witness. Uh, we also located Dakari Maxwell that day and interviewed him. He's been charged with murder. Uh, during his interview, we've uh, learned additional information um, that I can't go into at this time. However, we did. Uh, identify another individual involved who we've charged with conspiracy to commit a capital felony, and that is Demetrius Ford, and he is a black male, 19 years old. And then we just finished putting the charge of murder onto Jacorian McRae. Um, and uh, as I said, this is an active investigation. There really isn't much more I can go into at this time, uh, but I can try to answer a few questions. And, and so this was all gathered through the jail it, a bulk of it was, yes. And, and just to be clear, uh, Jacori, ex he explained to his brother how to go about, uh, allegedly go about the murder during the conversation? Yes. Any other questions? Um, so Jacori was afraid of the victim during your sentence. Uh, was he, how, do you, how do you know about the charges? How do you even follow up with him necessarily? Like, what could be looking at now? Uh, as far as the charges against him now? Yeah. A little life or 
you know, I, I'm not sure what the final charges will be. And so total, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, so Jacory's already in, in, in jail, so he's going to be people also arrested. Three. Three other people arrested. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.